Hey there, A Bird Freedom Fam. So here it is, another trip to the range, this time with my M17 SIG that I just put my first personally owned SIG Romeo 1 Pro optic on. And if you caught it on the thumbnail, you might know where this is going. Obviously, I'm going to go over the target real quick because I'm going to make that phrase in the thumbnail make sense. Okay. So, literally today would have been a good time for the phrase, and I know one of you wants to put it in the comments already, that I literally was turning money into noise. I had to step back from that phrase and think about it for a minute. In the end, the conclusion, and it's written right here on the target, is you can't optic bad fundamentals. Obviously, these three rounds right here were my first shot group with no zero on the optic. I made an adjustment only at about 10 feet, so about 3 meters, working uh, in stages. But if I can't correct me, I can't correct the optic. And the optic is not going to compensate for my bad application of fundamentals of marksmanship. That's exactly what I had going on today. So I'll go back. I'll go to TAPS. I'll pull up some of Pat McManera's different ways to analyze what I've got here. And I'll study up on the fundamentals and I'll get some dry practice and or some dry fire, however you want to say it. I'll probably get some work on the Mantis. But let's talk about this. Obviously, I had a pretty decent shot group in this box, but it was still to the left. But that's only after I go back and I critique things. Slapping triggers, too much trigger finger, not enough trigger finger, squeezing too hard with my dominant hand or my trigger hand. So what I've got to do is I've got to step back and say, okay, so before I get all crazy with everything else, I've got to go back to my fundamentals. So today's little short video is just you can't out gear ability. What does that mean? You can't just keep buying fancy shit that works real good as long as you apply the fundamentals. So I've got a good pistol. That's undisputable. I've got a good optic. That's undisputable. I didn't perform. So I figured I would put this target up and I would, you know, put out the fact that I shot lousy groups. I shot low and left. And rather than just writing it off as a bad day or the optic sucks or the gun sucks, no, um, I sucked. So this is just to show everybody, even if it's a quote unquote bad day, pull some good out of it. So now I'm going to go back. I'll work on my fundamentals and I'll come back and I will get A, the optic zeroed correctly. And I will also apply my basic fundamentals that I'm neglecting. My shot groups will not only tighten up, but they'll go where I want them to go. So today's theme is you can't optic bad fundamentals. In other words, you can't rely on a piece of gear to get you better. You need to be better so that the gear performs like it's supposed to. Um, if you have any tips or tricks in cleaning up, Bad shot groups, bad shot placement. Don't be shy. Throw them in the uh, comments. And then, too, I might just post some videos when I'm actually working on it and um, share it with everybody. So no need to tell you all I'm awesome because evidently I'm not. I'm just a guy. And I've neglected my fundamentals. So it's time to get back to the basics. Just remember, I'm going to say it one more time. You can't optic bad fundamentals. And that's what I've got there. So I need to work on my ability to run that equipment. That's all I got. Everybody stay safe. Out.